right here. Good job. Take me down the hill. Okay, hang on. Hey, everybody, and welcome to the video. And today we're going to be looking at a new game that's kind of like, I want to say, based off an older game. You guys remember the old school Crazy Taxi games. If you haven't played those games or don't know about them, where the heck have you been? These games are fantastic, and there hasn't been, really been a game that kind of mimic their formula in a long time. So today we're going to look at a game called Taxi Chaos for the PS4 and Switch. And does this game live up to the old school? Let's find out. Alright, so I've been watching this game for quite a while, so I was very excited about its release. So, I'm going to go over some details with you guys. I don't want this video to be too long. Graphically, the game uh, looks very cartoony, which is good for a game like this. Uh, you feel like the world is very vibrant, I would say. Uh, a lot of people like how it looks. Uh, a lot of people on the street talking. and Just like you feel like you're really in like New York City, which I pretty much think the game is based off of. Lots of town to go around and discover and just to see like cool sights. So... Uh, the game just like to me like looks really good. The only thing is that I'm hoping in the future is that they maybe have like a different like type of look to the level. Like maybe it might be snowing or raining, uh, nighttime of course. That kind of stuff really helps, you know, flesh things out with the graphics department. But you know, either way, the game looks good the way it looks already. But I just think they should add some stuff like that in the future. All right, so next I want to move on to the music real fast. Uh, you guys know Crazy Taxi had an awesome soundtrack, Offspring All I Want. That song was hot, man, seriously. And I kept I kept thinking about it while I was playing this game as well. Now, does this game have a tune like that? No, not really, but it does have some tunes that will make you bob your head. So the music is actually pretty good in this game. Going through the sound, there's a lot of talking going on in this game. Like people yelling for a cab and telling you their story while you're taking them to their destination. The back and forth between the cab driver and the passenger is actually really amazing in this game. I thought they that was really well done. And it really feels like they're, they're, like they have personalities pretty much. So the sound and voice department, they did a really good job there. And there's a lot of different dialogue that goes between passengers and customers throughout the game. So you won't hear too much of the same dialogue too much at first but it'll change up as you go to different areas I would say alright so next up is control in a game like this you gotta be able to control your vehicle with the best kind of precision uh, you gotta get your, your your customers to point A to B pretty much in a certain amount of time and you're gonna be going through a lot of obstacles so the game has to control well and does it actually it really does I was actually surprised because at first I was having trouble getting to certain destinations and everything like that then when I figured things out, like you have a boost on your cab, and also all kind of shortcuts that you could use to, to your advantage really helped me out as well, and I started to get used to the controls. Also, there is different vehicles you unlock in the game, so each one like controls differently. Some are really fast, some have really good handling, and some like have a great braking system. Literally, you could damn near stop on a dime in this game, with the right car of choice, that is. I also forgot to mention that this game has a jump feature. Your car can jump over pretty much anything if you have the right acceleration pretty much. And when you jump over obstacles like other cars to get out of traffic, your customers go wild for it. And you get an extra rating uh, when, they, when they, you drop them off pretty much. So uh, just remember to do that. Uh, I wasn't doing it at first. I was just trying to go around, drive perfectly, but you got to use that jump to kind of impress your uh, passengers, which is really cool. So overall, is this game fun or not? Yeah, it's a lot of fun, but the thing is, it, it, you, it, the fun may only last for a little while in this game. I wish there was like some more like objectives in the game, and what I mean by that is that when you play arcade mode, you have a certain time limit, you try to keep it going, the timer going until you have a game over. In free play mode, uh, you go and pick up people, take them to their destinations, you keep adding score and getting money, but there's no ending to the game. You know, if there's like an ending to the mission or something like that, that'd be nice, like a like a, like a subtle level end or the next level, something like that would be, would be welcome. Maybe they could add that on in the future, I don't know, but I like being able to know I'm finishing a, an objective pretty much. Um, also too, you will unlock pro mode, which is uh, pretty tough. You gotta remember where everything's at in the game because you will not have a marker telling you where to take the the, the, the passengers to their destination pretty much you know you'll, you'll see what the destination looks like but how to get there you have to remember how to get there from playing previous runs on arcade mode and free play mode but when you get the pro mode 
you got to know what you're doing. But that's just an extra mode for people who want to be hardcore with the game. But anyways, guys, um, this game is out today. Uh, physical copies for the Switch and the PS4. I think there might be copies for the Xbox One, but I'm not really sure on that. But you could definitely download it for all three systems if you prefer that choice. But uh, Taxi Chaos is fun. It needs a bit more polish to be to kind of live up to the old school but still this is actually a good attempt so i'm really liking this game so you guys let me know what you think in the comments about the game i'll let you see a little gameplay Also, there are some new features in the day one patch coming out. I'll let you guys know a couple of them. 11 new music soundtracks. Uh, there's going to be also some new animations, um, some more ambient sounds. Um, also, uh, updated uh, destination marker for a clearer design. So you'll be able to see where you're supposed to go a little bit clearer. Um, they got a bunch of fixes as well. So you guys probably won't see most of those. But um, it's nice to know that they plan on updating this game a lot, you know, adding new stuff to it. So. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you, Radical Reggie, and I will see you later. Hello, could you take me to the park noodles in the park? Let me sit down on the seat and... 